Good morning, everybody. It's Zachariah from Running for Heroes. This morning, for our second and final mile, we're running for a fallen officer who lost his life in the line of duty. This morning, I'm running for fallen officer Jameson Ritter. He worked the Cleveland Division of Police in Ohio and is on a watch, which was July 4th, 2024. He lost life he was shot and killed while attempting to arrest a subject with a warrant. He was 27 years old, time is passing, serving three, uh, four years of service with the Cleveland Division of Police in Ohio and was assigned to the, uh, the 3rd District. And he was recently also um, uh, the Officer of the Month. He also was an uh, Ohio Army National Guard veteran. He leaves behind a loving family. Um, during this run, I'll be running a blind flag in his honor. I'll be doing seven laps around the track by my school. Um, it's also important to note that this run is being conducted at the same time that the Cleveland Division of Police is doing a run up there um, a, uh, in honor of Officer uh, Ritter. Before the run starts, I'm going to do a quick prayer in honor of his whole family and department that your hearts and are going through, and then I'll be on my way. Those that are tuning in today, today's Zachariah now running his second mile of the morning. This mile in honor of Fallen Officer Jameson Ritter. He served with the Cleveland Division of Police in Ohio, tragically losing his life on July the 4th, 2024. And he sadly lost his life after he was shot and killed while attempting to arrest a subject who was wanted. Officer Ritter was 27 years old, having served four years of service as a member of the Cleveland Division of Police. He was assigned to the third district, recently recognized as the officer of the month. He served in multiple capacities as a member as well of the Ohio Army National Guard. And sadly, he leaves behind a loving family. As Zechariah mentioned, the third district recruit class running at this time as well. In Cleveland, Zechariah completing his first lap to honor officer Jameson Ritter. We're always appreciative of the various local agencies that continually come out to help us honor our fallen heroes. This morning, helping us honor Officer Jameson Ritter. We have members of our home city agency, the Winter Springs Police Department. We also have here today, Playing Pipes, the Central Florida First Responder Bagpipes and Drums Band, walking with Zachariah, his little sister Chloe, and also running is that one of Zachariah's supporters here today as well. Once again, we're here to pay tribute to fallen Officer Jameson Ritter. He was a four-year veteran of the Cleveland Division of Police, tragically losing his life July the 4th, 2024, after he was shot and killed while attempting to arrest a wanted subject. Officer Ritter served the 3rd District for the Cleveland Division of Police, recently recognized as the Officer of the Month. He also served with the Ohio Army National Guard, and he leaves behind a loving family. As Zachariah completes this lap, he'll be completing his second of seven laps today, which is one mile. Honor Officer James in Ritter. For every mile completed by runners, they carry a unique flag. Each flag is sent to the family of the hero that they run to honor. Today, Zechariah carrying the blue line flag. This flag will begin to work its way to the family. A fallen officer, Jameson Ritter, along with a note that Zechariah wrote earlier in the day. If you'd like information on how you can be a part of the Running for Heroes mission, you can visit running the number four heroes.org. As Zechariah completes lap number three and begins lap number four, I'm going to go silent as the bagpipes begin to play, and I'm going to remain silent for the remainder of the run as we reflect on the life of this hero today. Fallen officer, Jameson Ritter. We extend our heartfelt prayers to the entire Cleveland Division of Police mourning the loss of yet another one of their heroes. 
We also extend our heartfelt prayers to the entire Ritter family, also mourning the loss as well. Officer Jamison Ritter was a hero, one that we hope is never forgotten. And it's our hope and prayer that this run honors him well as we thank him for his service to his community, to his country.
Zachary, any final words this morning for the family, the fallen officer, Jameson, Ritter, and everybody with the 3rd District of the Cleveland Division of Police? To uh, Officer Ritter's whole family and his whole department, prayers and helps you out. Um, sorry, it's really hot in Florida. But hopefully this run just shows that we're continuing to be dedicated to help these officers who passed away. The reason why I did it at this time was because um, Cleveland District of Police is doing a mile at this time too. Yeah. Um, he lost life for being shot and killed. Pray this doesn't happen again. Both malls today were for being for officers being shot and killed intentionally. We hope that stops. If you're a part of the family's life flag, we sent to you very soon along with a handwritten note. Pray it helps you out. This time, Bob, we now join in a 21 second moment of silence. Just like a 21 gun salute, each like day can one amazing thing he did during his life. Following this bit of prayer, so please join us at this time. Generally, Father, we did a, two miles today. The last one's for a young Cleveland police officer who passed away. God, I pray watch over his whole family and department. Pray God into his room so they can find healing and comfort. I pray the last time we lose one to gunfire. Amen. Thank you for joining us these two miles. We will have a great and safe night. Special for your first part working tonight, and I pray God bless you all. Well.